As summer gets closer, residents and visitors are packing Edgewater Park. The lakefront is one of the most popular in our area. And now, the east side of Cleveland is investigating into more public access to the lake. Our Lydia Espar explains. It's, it's been a, a, a dream of mine for as long as I can recall, and that is to connect the lakefront. A dream for City Councilman Mike Polensic. The Ward 8 Councilman has been working for decades to have something like Edgewater Park on his side of town. When the shoreway went in, Olivia, they never thought about people getting access to the lake. So now the vision is how do we get people who live south of I-90 in the Glenville and Collinwood communities and beyond? At Monday night's city council meeting, it was approved spending $3 million to expand public lakefront access from the Metro Park's Euclid Creek Reservation, west along Beulah Park, Villa Beach, and some of Shore Acres. Right now, part of the path is already in through Metro Park Euclid Creek Reservation. We're going to bring it down Chardon Road to St. Clair. Polensic says there's a bigger picture that involves the Euclid Mobile Home Park. It was purchased by the Land Conservancy, and its infrastructure is just too expensive to repair. Tenants have until September of 2024 to relocate. Leanne Flannery has lived here since she was 16. She knows this will add to the Euclid Beach Trail Connector's appeal. But does she like it? I don't know, really. I mean, it's nice to be walking around here. You got nice people. And I mean, I'm sure the future in, the, in this park is going to look nice. For the city of Cleveland, the connector is more than scenery and trails. It's about rebuilding a community, investing in its future. Palencic says this is what the east side really needs to compete with the west side. On the east side, quite frankly, we, we didn't have the amenities they had, the connectivity on the west side. We want to see those same things on the east side of the city. So that's our goal. Now, there is also money dedicated to prevent erosion and public access to the beach. The whole project will cost about $16 million, and that money is coming from the American Rescue Plan Act. And, of course, everyone's really super excited about this one. Oh, certainly. Okay. Lydia Spar, thank you so sure. much.